Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out the Film Geek. Now before I get things started today, I have some quick announcements. First off, I'd like to tell everybody I'm going on a Christmas break right after this, so I won't be back until January 3rd. Now, I'm going to keep doing my weekly spotlights like I always do, except I'm going to start posting those now on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I'll still do my end of the month wrap up, uh, you know, doing some kind of cool video like I like doing my cereal tastings or a hunt video, or maybe I'll even do some more of these film commentaries. I mean, there's plenty of free domain films out there for me to either tell you a little history about or just riff the hell out of them. So that's something to look forward moving ahead into the new year. And uh, I'm also throwing around the idea. I'm getting closer and closer to that big old number 500 subscribers. And I'm deciding whether or not I want to do a contest or some kind of drawing or, you know, something to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You know, a contest for all of you guys. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that right now. So uh, just bear with me. That's something also to look forward to. So, okay. All right. Enough with the announcements and boring the hell out of you guys. Guys, it's time to get this bad boy started, and I have some special guests here with me today. I have uh, Charming Amy. Hello, everybody. And also, too, our French Bulldog Beans is joining us today because he can't be away from Charming Amy for two seconds without whining. No. So, whatever. If you hear some grunts or some uh, barks or anything of that sort... You know, it's fine. He's just a French bulldog. That's what they do. Okay, so a little bit more here. Moving on to what in the hell this movie is. Okay, this is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians from 1964. And yes, folks, believe it or not, this film had a theatrical release. Now, this is also directed by Nicholas Webster. And uh, something interesting I found out about Nicholas Webster also was that he also directed a film called Riding the Rails, The Great American Train Story, which is funny because I actually own that. And what it is, it's, uh, it's Johnny Cash, and it's uh, Johnny Cash telling the story of the American Railroad through, uh, well, story, spoken word and uh, song. It's pretty cool. And then he, he made this pile of garbage. Uh, this movie... Wow, guys, this is next level bad movies. I mean, it really is. It's on the list of the 100 worst movies ever made. So you know what? This is a fantastic way to spend your Christmas here with charming Amy and I watching one of the worst freaking movies ever made. Okay, so also too, this is uh, charming Amy's first viewing of this film. So are you, are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm so excited. You sound extremely <laughs> excited, just like all sorts of pumped up, like, um, yeah, Santa Claus is going to fuck up some aliens, no, yeah! Nothing more than watching a shitty Christmas movie. It's a shitty Christmas movie on uh, Christmas, yeah, there's nothing better than that. Okay, guys, we're going to get this bad boy started here, so uh, here we go. I'm watching this on my PlayStation 4, it's how I like to watch most of my movies anyway, so here we go. The play button has been hit. And we're in it to win it. Oh, we already got our first French Bulldog growl. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now, um, this film opens with one of the god-awful worst Christmas songs I've ever heard in my entire life. And it's just children screaming into a microphone. I, I hate this song. And it's, it was, I don't know if it was written by, but it's performed by Milton DeLong and the Little Eskimos. And it was released uh, in 1964 on an album or something like that. And uh, just like this film, it, re it received the same reviews. Let's just put it that way. I mean, for the love of Christ, listen to this thing. Jesus, it's like the shitty version of uh, Santa's Coming to Town. This made Santa Claus run away from town. Santa was about to stop off in Detroit, and then all these children were like screaming at him. Like, Santa Claus! Why are these children screaming at me? I'm out. <laughs> Hooray! There it is, right there. Hooray for Santa! They didn't mention the little Eskimos. What the hell? You know, the, the, the little Eskimos are essentially the entire song. I mean, what the hell did What's His Ass even provide? Maybe this really jazzy 
What is that, trumpet solo? I guess so, whatever. It's really... Here we are back. God damn, oh, this is the jingle bell. This goes on way... Jesus, this goes on way <laughs> too long. This is what I... One of the things I, I hate and also like about old movies, in some cases I like it because they have all of the credits in the beginning. So it's like when the movie's over, it's just, it's just over. But when you have a song like this, you're like, wrap it the hell up. And I wish I could tell you guys it's going to get better. It doesn't. This is probably the bright part of the whole thing because... That's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Thank you, Nicholas Webster. Brings you the special event of the year. A Kid TV. Kid TV. At this very moment, AID TV has standing by a television Yeah, so these guys, Wars Kid Workshop. TV, breaks the big Santa Claus uh, story here. They, they've made it to the North Pole, South Pole. Oh, damn it, North Pole. Right? Okay, North Pole. They're at the North Pole. They're at the North Pole. Like, I mean, you know. I mean, <laughs> does evil Santa live at the South Pole? Uh, this Santa lives at the South Pole. I guess Pole. so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, right there. That little girl. That is an 11-year-old Piazzadora. Right there. <laughs> okay, this is actually her first film. Uh, she played the little alien girl right there. Now, I don't know. Um, I only know one movie she was in. Okay, and that was 1984's Voyage of the Rock Aliens, and that's a story about aliens searching for the source of rock and roll, but they have to deal with Dee Dee, played by Pia Zadora. Um, the movie's about as good as I just described it to you guys. It's, uh, it's, it's garbage also. I mean, it's, I guess, I don't know, it's 80s cheese, but that's okay. In any ways, Pia became more well-known for... Uh, a singer. She was more of a singer. And in 2000, she was actually nominated for the 20th Golden Raspberry Awards as Worst Actress of the Century, but lost to Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, okay, maybe she didn't do so great as an actress. However, as a singer, she released several uh, albums featuring popular standards and was nominated for a Grammy in 1984, but lost to Tina Turner. So, she lost Worst Actress to Madonna and lost a song, you know, a Grammy to Tina Turner. I mean, I think that's kind of a good track record, like, though. I, I haven't even, like, heard of this lady, like, seriously. You don't know Pia Zodora? Sure. No? She seems like a household name. She is a household name. She is a household name. Thank you very much. There's a bunch of Pia Zodora fans out there right now just kind of flipping off the TV. Prancer and Dancer and Dunder and Blitzen and Vixen and Nixon. Uh, and Santa Claus is, forgets the names that, uh, of his uh, freaking reindeer. Tequila rainier. and Blitz <laughs> and, and, and rum like, <laughs> and I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Santa's like smoking something in that pot. He's like, you kids know him. Okay, okay, more fun, more fun. This is the first appearance of Mrs. Claus in anything. And, and I mean, uh, so yeah, this is what this film's famous for too. The first appearance of Mrs. Claus. However, three weeks later, um, the... TV special Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer aired, also featuring Mrs. Claus. A lot of people think that's the first appearance, but uh, no, this is. And here she's going to freak out. She's about ready to have like a nervous breakdown or something. I don't know what happens here. Oh, hello there! Oh, yeah, she just like, that's it. There goes Mrs. Claus. They're all like, that crazy I, I think bitch. she's been eat, like hitting the edibles too hard. <laughs> yeah, like I said, what's in Santa's bite? What's, what is going on up here? Like this... This is just one big drug dream. This whole film is. Winky is in charge of our. Everything's okay, Zumbo. Oh, uh, now here, here is the latest toy rocket. It runs on real rocket fuel. Really? Oh. I've been wondering what is this strange little creature over here. Oh, uh, Winky made that. That's his idea of a Martian. A Martian? Wowie, wowie. Here you go. Here's a shitty like Batman. A dark Knight. <laughs> I wonder if there really are people on Mars. Well, who knows? Well, if there are, I hope they have someone like you up there, Santa, to bring... It's Martian Man. Not Martian Man. You know what? Dang it. DC, why why do your heroes have lame names? Martian Manhunter. I'm sorry. I do love the character, but what a stupid name. Now, Mr. Anderson, I want to show you some more things. Drop off. Drapo, you lazy good-for-nothing, where are you? 
I can't see. Oh, oh, there you are. You're laying on the floor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and this film actually found kind of a revival in 1988 when it was featured on Mystery Science Theater 3000. And I want to, um, I also want to make a moment here, take a moment here. I haven't seen that episode in freaking years. So if I accidentally make a joke that was on MST3K, I am not ripping them off. It's just my subconscious coming back. Oh, the beans is jumping. Stand up. But uh, so here's something. In 1998, they were actually planning on making a remake of this film starring Jim Carrey as uh, this guy right here, dumbass. Isn't his name like Droppo or some shit? Yes, it's Droppo. That's Droppo. Okay. Yeah. So I was just practicing. Could you? I'm just watching this right now, and I'm picturing Jim Carrey talking about how he can't. I forgot how to sleep. Oh my goodness, boss. Get some new food pills. The children haven't been eating well. No appetite at all. It's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Where are they? Oh, in there. Oh, and you know what's kind of interesting? All right, if you're wondering, folks at home, uh, yes, that... What, that little tube right there, that's not the kind of tube. That is actually a gas line. That's a hey, natural man, gas I line. Uh, <laughs> I they were uh, short in the props department. Yeah, that, uh, that's what those are. Everything else, I think, was just made for Let's from. go through the dumpster and figure out what we can use for these costumes. Yeah, I was going to say use Doctor Who sets. tender, loving care. Piazza Zora, everybody. Piazza Zora. I don't know, Grandma. What is Mother, what is a doll? See that right there? Oh, that is, that's some acting right oh, there. Okay. That's a that's a golden raspberry programs. award-winning actress. Must we go to sleep now, Father? I'm gonna call you Dum Dum One and Dum Dum Two. I want to see more toys. No, go to sleep. Well, and I want a million dollars. Shut the hell up, you freaking brat! Now go lie down on your pillow cube. In your whatever this is, your your. Satellite dish. On Mars, Here. we sleep in a satellite dish. There's some dish. meth for you. <laughs> it's gonna sprinkle a little, sprinkle a little crack on her. Oh, meanwhile, over at the button pushing area. Keeping busy. Oh, I've been working very hard, Lady Mobar. I've been vacuuming the room. Good. Is the master here? Oh, he's in there. And Kimar is very angry too. Kimar, I bought some new food pills. I hope the children will eat these. We have a hamburger. Oh, delicious. Dinner is ready. Mashed You're a good potatoes. wife. And a special treat for them. Chocolate layers. Well, those mashed potatoes look an awful lot like some shitty Red Hots that my grandma would put on top of a, a pudding cake. Yeah, the... the That's not mashed potatoes. I'm gonna stop calling them food pills. I'm gonna call them shitty jelly bellies. I had to use the sleep spray on them again. I mentioned this to my council chiefs today, and I learned it's the same with children... What exactly? I mean, okay, I'm trying to figure out the helmet here. All right, that's not a visor. You can't pull it down over your eyes. Is it a light? Do you think it's a lamp? Like a maybe like a giant headlamp. Must do something about it. Except hers would be kind of useless. I mean, it literally is on the top of her head. Why don't you go to the forest? Yeah, that's true. The ancient one. You know what to do. He's never failed you. You speak wisely. Oh Jesus, we're gonna go see our ancient one now. Attention, council chiefs. Please report. Lomas reporting. Rignal reporting. Argo here. Maybe Maybe it's a... Answer my shitty doorbell. <laughs> Maybe it's a speaker. I know. Maybe that's what that is on top of their head. Maybe it's a speaker. Gentlemen of the council, we will meet immediately at Chochum's chair in Thunder Forest. What's wrong now, Eva? Chochin's know, chair. Chochin, the Chochin one. The Chochin, the Chochin one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the names. Goodness. This looks like the spider's lair from Kroll. Is that an ass? It does look like a butt. That's an ass! Where's Kima? He should be here any moment. You know what they look like to me when, we, you know, back in the 80s, McDonald's put out, like, a little line of plastic toys that look like little aliens? That's what they look like, those little McDonald aliens. Oh, good lord. I do remember that. Man, Cho Chem is 800 years old. You can't dismiss the wisdom of centuries. I can. Gentlemen. 
Thank you for coming. Cho Chen? Cho Chen, are you here? Ancient one of Mars, I call upon you. Cho Chen is I, Kima, and the council chiefs. We need you, Cho Chen. That's the best special effect in this, by the way. That was that right there. That... What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> what is the airspeed of a laden, <laughs> unladen swallow? We need your advice, Cho Chen. Something is wrong with our children. They eat not. They sleep not. They're only they don't laugh or dance. They don't the wear silly pants. Is it now? It is the middle of September. No, no, not here. I mean on Earth. Ah, yes. It is early December on Earth. Close to the time of the Christmas. This all guy, like right here, he also reminds me kind of of in the Gremlins, the uh, the old man in the shop. The, what? I uh, kind of, but he looks like he's been left in the microwave too long. <laughs> oh God! And for children, it is also a time of anticipation as they await the arrival of Santa Claus and his gifts. Bah. What Humbug. nonsense. What has this to do with our children, Ancient One? We have no children on Mars. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. It's like that movie. What was it? The Orphan? Was it The Orphan? Yeah. 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 Fucking shit. I see this coming for centuries. They are born. Our electronic teaching machines are attached to their brains while they are in their cradles. Information is fed into their minds in a constant stream. And by the time they can walk, they are adults. They've never played. They've never the Martians played. care not for the human race. They're just trying to figure out why their children love the humans so much because, you know, we suck. It's kind of like, like pets. <laughs> Easily entertained by our pets. You know, like watching cat videos. They must learn to play. They must learn what it means to have fun. We need a Santa Claus on Mars. Now go to Fred Flintstone and screw up the Flintstones for eternity like your scrappy do. Santa Claus on Mars? Will we get a Santa Claus? There's only one Santa Claus, and he's on Earth. <laughs> you want to know something interesting? Well, hmm. I guess that takes Mo care of that. <laughs> I love Didn't that. I uh, he's my favorite part of this entire thing, Mustache Man. His mustache is continuously down. falling off throughout the entire film. I know, it's <laughs> like it's just kind of half. <laughs> it's just, on there. it's just, hey, my mustache is barely on. <laughs> Oh, anyways, I was gonna say these uh, these actors are actually um, most of them are Broadway actors. They really shouldn't have quit their day job. I'm wondering what Broadway performances they were. I think they were the concession stand workers. <laughs> they, they raised the curtain. <laughs> and also, too, most of this film was filmed in an abandoned aircraft um, hangar in Long Island. So there you go. This okay. was filmed mostly in Long Island. Well, that kind of explains a little a bit of this. It keeps going. What? Why does it look like a... It's a, a like it's flying joint. Til silver turd. Okay, I'll go turd, sure. It's the TARDIS on the inside. It's bigger on the inside. Space stuff. Space stuff. Doing space <laughs> stuff.
Approaching projected Earth orbit. Fire. Portside rockets, number one and number two. He's going number Portside one rockets. and number two. Get out of the room! Gross. <laughs> Entering Earth orbit. All right, Boldar. Now to find Santa Claus. Turn on your magnoscope to third power. You know, why do they continuously... It's, they're not calling him Santa Claus. If you well, notice, he's Santa Claus. I swear that's how they're pronouncing his name throughout this entire thing. So Look, stock footage. People call a city, eh? How primitive. Look at all those buildings above ground. The fools! Why, we could destroy that city with one blast of our puree. We've not come here to destroy anyone. Pathetic. Yeah. To bring Santa they will be destroyed by our... Gigantic laser beams and superior technology. I don't know what kind of technology like look, looks like, you know, tinfoil turds, but <laughs> whatever. I don't know, man. If I saw a tinfoil turd falling towards Earth, I'd, I'd run. That's, that you know, you've seen Joe Dirt, right? That's <laughs> plane. I got the poo on me. <laughs> I see him too. He's standing on the corner ringing a bell. No, he's not. He's standing near the entrance of a large building next to a large black kettle. He's standing on the corner, Kima. He's... Wait a minute. I see another one. Well, there are hundreds of Santa Clauses down there. Are we going to bring them all back with us to Mars? Just one. And nah, they so ain't miss one of them. Yeah. Assholes. Everybody's been wondering where Billy Bob Thornton ran off to. They got the wrong Santa Claus. Apparently. They did. In reality, he's more focused on his music career, which, by the way, is pretty good. Any new space satellite. Our radar stations are tracking the spaceship, or whatever it is. The U.S. Air Force has alerted all defense commands and retaliatory units. Stay tuned for further bulletin. Important men doing important things. Look at us do important office American stuff, things. Office stuff. office stuff. Cigarettes on a plate. Top men doing top things. This is the Pentagon at work. Computers of the modern era. Look at these pathetic fools and their stock footage. It's like a military training video. <laughs> functioning of radar shield. Bring that. Check the radar box. Radar shield functioning. Oh, why, it's not a radar box. It's a dipshit box. What are you doing here, Tom? Well, Chief, I went to the launching pad so I could say goodbye to you, and I remembered. I've never been to Earth, so I thought I would. Hello, everybody. Now get below. I'll deal with you later. Whoa! Look at the lever! They're all different colors! Whoa! Like, what, like, why would you have advanced technology and those shitty levers at the same time? Prepare to land. We'll set down in that field near the lake. Rocket silencer set. Rotor rockets number one and two, fire! All this trouble over a fat little man in a red suit. All this fucking happiness. Cobra Commander does not approve. UFO bulletin. The Defense Department has just announced that the unidentified flying object has suddenly disappeared from our radar screen. They believe the object has either disintegrated in space or it may be a spaceship from some other planet which has the ability to nullify our radar beam. May have disintegrated in space, maybe a spaceship. Men running towards planes, giant planes. Your tax dollars at work. I like how they're flying bombers off, but like, how are you gonna bomb a spaceship? You're gonna bomb Santa Claus. We're gonna da -da. bomb him. Like, how are you bombing a spaceship out in space? We're, we'll just throw him at it. Here you go. Beware, Martians. You have America to face. Now, U.S. Air Force. Look at those flying beauties in the sky. Two billion dollars worth of U.S. muscle. Screw you, Martians. Oh, for those chemtrails. 
so far about a good 35% of this film has been American stock footage. I'm just assuming. I really doubt this is filmed. I seriously doubt this was filmed by the makers of this movie. And if it was, damn, good job, uh, Nicholas Wilder. I, I highly doubt that. That was some amazing stock footage. Lower landing legs. Why is it so hard? I, oh God! Why is it so hard? <sighs> oh God! This is Kimar. When we've landed, Rigna, Boldar, and I will lead the ship to investigate. Hargo, Lomas, and Droppo will stay on board on constant alert for immediate blast off. There, there we go. Fireball coming to all the... Oh, it kinda, I still cannot tell what the ship looks like. Oh, good. We have our heroes. They're just kind of sleeping out in the woods. Here we go. I'll just take a nap out here. It's, it's cool. the 60s. We're unattended. Professor Werner von Green, our leading space expert, little transistor radio has still some damn good sound. It was a Martian spaceship. Stay tuned for further bulletins. Billy, what does a Martian look like? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen one. Yeah, it's not like I've ever seen one. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian woke right up behind you? I freak the hell out. <gasps> oh, Wait. but how do we know that was gonna come true? Um, Betty, I'm trying to sleep. I see a Martian. And they all look like the Great Gazoo. Come on, let's go home. We're from Mars. Oh Don't shit! Hey, funny thing to about to those uh, those Martian guns, those they uh, if you get a good shot of one, they're nothing more than well, no, the Whammo air blaster. They didn't even try to change it. It's a Whammo air blaster, painted. And if you're unfamiliar with that, it's like an old '60s atomic era toy. That's what we do to children on Mars. We beat them senselessly and shoot them with air blasters. Billy, Billy Foster, sir, and this is my sister Betty. Jesus Christ. Okay, alright, wait a minute. What the hell is it with the name Billy and Christmas movies? Alright, here, this is the thing. Alright, so I started off 12 Days of Christmas. I did Black Christmas. We had Billy. Alright? Billy. And then we go to Silent Night, Deadly Night. We had Billy. And now here we are, Christmas Day, fucking Billy. That's right. Merry Christmas, Billy. Leave them here to inform the authorities. He's right, Kima. We better take them along with us to the North Pole. Very well. Come along. Oh, okay. I guess we'll go. This morning, two children disappeared mysteriously. From Gigantic the green men took them on a ride in their flying turd. It seems as though Billy and Betty Foster have simply vanished into thin air. This appears to be a day when everything is vanishing into thin air. While local police are continuing their search for the missing children, the armed forces are continuing their search for the it's mysterious... It's like they're getting fuel. Doing, there's like air <laughs> fueling. Oh, here I am, kids. I wonder what will happen if I start playing with the radar box. All right, come in here. Let's do some things we're not supposed to. Hey, everybody, look at the cockpit. That's where you fire off all them rockets. No, I'm not supposed to bring you here. The chief's got then the why are you there? Boy, where were the kids at home funny? I was in a real Martian spaceship. No, no, don't touch fucking it. touch that. Dead kid. Keep your hands to yourself. Didn't now, your mother teach you anything? And these... Are the retro rockets. Does this light up? Kid, it's a massive superhuman computer. It's calculations and power you can't even comprehend. Oh, look at the flashing light. Yeah. What's this, Drapo? Well, that's how we destroy the human race right there with our big old biological weapon. <laughs> From the navigation deck. Somebody's coming up. Better get out of here! No, 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 no! There's no time for that! Oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, where are we gonna hide? Let's hide, hide, hide. Oh, oh, let's hide in the radar okay, box. Okay, let's, right yeah, let's get back in this radar box. Let's where I slack off all the time. They'll never see that. They'll never know anything. So I'm, I'm starting to notice. Do the Martians do the, the underwear on the outside thing? Is that an alien thing? I guess so. Aliens <laughs> everywhere. They wear the underwear on the outside. Hey, you taking another nap in the radar box drop -off? I don't got nothing in here. Oh, what? Sir. There's no kids in here. Matter of fact. I was just looking in there. What I find funny about this movie is the guy that's supposed to be the badass villain of the entire thing is the only one who's making sense. They're like, he's like, this going to Earth and finding Santa Claus is stupid. He was right there. Every time this dumbass does something, he's always calling him out on his shit. He's not the villain. He's the only, he's just the, the only one who is thinking. He's still not an asshole. Drabble, you stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now or ever. What do you mean, Polgar? If we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. When the hell is Santa going to conquer know. these guys? I mean, this, so far, the Martians have been attacking us. There's just been a whole lot of Martians kidnapping children and coming after Santa. And Santa has done diddly shit. When is he going to conquer? They were coming after Santa. They didn't give, which, give a rat's ass which Santa. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care. They're just like... Here, this one will do. Uh, this is another Santa Claus. Let's get this Santa Claus. This one is fine. What the hell? We've landed. Secure the ship. Lomas, you remain on guard and have the ship ready for immediate blast off. I would have loved if he pulled out like a club and attached it to something. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it seems like that's their technology style. Secure the ship. Put the chains on the legs. Santa Claus? We don't need talk. We won't take any chances. Come. Nothing could stop Tor. Damn! Radar's fucking crate! Let's stay in here. The children get out like glowing green with <laughs> radiation or something? I don't think radar works that way. No, I don't think anybody works. understands how radar works in this movie. Dude! Not if we can help it, you've got to get out of here and warn Santa! What's the talk? I don't know, but I'm not afraid of it. It's not going to stop us. Come on. Wait, Betty. Why did you do that? If this ship ever leaves Earth, I'll have the whole US Space Force after them. Come Good on. one, Damn. Billy. Right Take there, away their about radar. Space Force. He did right there. Space Force. like an air hanger of some sort. There's there's lights. You can see the lights. I just wanted to point out that there were some, some hanging lights in there. Good old golly gee wheels. Oh, these kids are going to get me into trouble. Good thing I've got my trusty rifle right here. Shitty Darth Vader. This action must take place swiftly. We can't afford to find your mistakes. lack of faith disturbing. Argo, you cover the rear of the workshop. Rigna, hold on. Cover the front entrance. I'll direct Torgs. Voldar isn't here. Bring the door up and tell Voldar. Oh, are you Voldar? Voldar, Voldar fix your mustache, you dirty bastard. You've been opposing me at every turn. That's what I do. I'm the bad guy. I haven't figured it out yet. You finished, Chief? Yes, I am, and you will be too if you're not Ooh, careful. Insubordination, oh, huh? Chief. That so tone careful, of yours. Look at the Chief. Before your look makeup the is you smearing by your you eye. You well, Chief. you got a shitty mustache there, Goldar. Ask Droppo. 
He just said something that sounded like ass droppo. At this very moment, they're on their way to Santa Claus to warn him. It's true, Kima. They're footprints. We must stop them. Those children mustn't reach Santa Claus. Follow them. I'll put Tug on the trail. I'm starting to think that there may be natural Tug, gas pumping through those lines. I mean, I, there has to be for this shitty of acting. Tug, come out of the spaceship. Billy, I can't run anymore. I'm cold, and I'm tired, and it's beginning to snow. Please, Betty, try. We've got to want Santa. We can't stop now. They might catch us. Where is Santa? Yeah, where is that? I no kidding. Droopy bastard. Is where is he? I mean, he should know that everybody's up there. He knows when not, I'm sleeping. He knows when I'm awake. Paying attention. Oh, he, he doesn't know that I'm freezing to death out here. It's Bulldog. He's the mean one. The one who doesn't like us. The mean one. They, they all don't like you. They just are telling you. At least he's honest. Quick, hide in the styrofoam. But this movie would look really awesome in high def. I don't know about that. It, I think it look probably is is best kept in low def, so we don't see all the random <laughs> shit that's probably laying around. I want to get the special edition 4K Blu-ray of this. Oh, we got a polar bear, or it's a man in a polar bear suit. A, you can see the mask. I mean, it just kind of pops up over. I think we get another shot of the polar bear where you can just plainly see it's a man crawling on the ground. I can't remember. Better look out, there's bears in them hills. Oh, there it is, bear man. Oh, oh, there's oh, a furry, run. Someone needs a hug. Arr, there you are. Hug. I just, hey, hey, I'm a friendly, I'm a friendly guy. I, I'm not here to hurt you. Hey, what's that over there? Ah, peace out, kids. Don't move, Betty. There's a little action for us right there. A little, st little stressful moment. Are the kids gonna make it? Are the band? I know, but like, you know, when you have a stressful moment, like... These kids don't act like they're too scared. They're just like, oh no! It's a bear! It's a bear! It's hiding here! Everybody quick! Let's go! Be quiet! Oh my goodness! That's the best thing that could happen. It'll cover our tracks and be harder for the Martians to find us. And it'll be harder for us to find Santa's workshop. I'm scared. We'll find it. Which way is north? You, what do you mean, which way is north? You're at the northest of north! I see it! I see it! I see north! Look, look, there's some Where? glowing eyes! <laughs> Jawas! Light? Where? The lights are moving! Oh no! Oh, that is, this is... I forgot about this. Betty, that's not Santa's house! That's not Santa. That's not Santa. I don't know. It's a shitty robot. It's like a lost in space knockoff. Crush them! Do as I say! No, I have too much of a heart. I have emotion. Mustache guy's an ass. He is, he is, he is, he is a dick. He tried to kill those kids with a robot. Don't try to escape again. You may not be so lucky next time. Fargo, take them back to the ship, lock them up, and rejoin us. You won't get away with this, you, you Martian! 
Danger grows with every minute. Let's get Santa Claus and blast off. We'll surround the workshop and send Torg in to get Santa. Nobody is to be harmed unless they get in our way. Ah, no one is to be harmed. What has happened to the great warriors of our planet? Mars used to be the planet of war. Mark my words, Kima. Your softness will destroy us. Santa Claus. Toys, games, laughing children. Well, we shall see. But for now, to your posts. Torg, follow me. Dramatic music. Robot 2 camera. Robot 2 camera. Shit! Broke a camera. That was big on the budget right there. Just in case Santa didn't know, there's his goddamn workshop. He's peeking in the windows like an old peeping Tom. There's the one they call Santa Claus. Really Quickly, destroy him! This, this movie, I swear, it takes you to places that you don't think you'd ever go. I am a giant cardboard robot. No. I'm here for the one they call Claws. Knock over the table. Stop right I there. A hug. <laughs> oh, a hug. oh, he got his hug. This robot's not here to hurt. He's here to love. Hey, look at that. That's a mighty fine robot right there. By the great dog star, Santa's treating him like a toy. He's treating our technology like toys. Or grab him. He's become a toy. Ligna, we'll have to get Santa ourselves. Come on, Voldar. Yes, you'll do fine for the sacrifice. Oh, shit! What are we here? Who the oh, fuck are you? Oh. Get out of my house! Santa Claus, you're coming with us. No, you can't take him now. It's too near Christmas. Quiet, you. But... Oh! Pop! See? Pop. See? Air poppers! <laughs> I hurt you, Santa Claus, so come along quietly. Why? Why did you have to do that to my helper? It's harmless. It'll wear off in a short while. Oh. Oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? Now, you come with us. We need you on Mars. I'm not moving. I'm not moving at all. No. Hello? Come on. Get the camera on me. Anybody I there? gotta breathe. Oh, it's Mrs. Claus again. I never saw such a like, lady. <laughs> you know, there, there's all these, this bullshit happening I'm in her living room, and she's like, oh, oh. Oh, no. That'll shut her up for a while. Here's something. I feel Santa was more upset about his helpers getting frozen than Mrs. Claus. He's kind of like, oh, no, Mrs. Claus is frozen. Oh, oh, oh no. Damn. <laughs> well, I guess I get a break from this yeah. bullshit for a while. <laughs> oh, oh, look, a Harry Potter scarf. This movie has predicted a lot of the future. Uh huh. Space Force, Gryffindor, Great Kazoo. Actually, I don't know when that guy came out. He, he might have predated I this. The, yeah, I think he's earlier than this. I can't recall a time when you were so silent for so long. Let's go, old man. Santa Claus kidnapped by Martians tonight at nine. And Mrs. Santa Claus has positively identified the kidnappers as Martians. Yeah, the, the like, Martians. how would we know that they were Martians? Like, I don't know these dudes with this shit on their head and <laughs> and face paint came in and took my husband. They, <laughs> Mrs. Claus is. It seems not too phased. Uh, boom! The microphone is in the shot. Mr. Van Green, what is the space agency doing about this? Well, we have mobilized all the men and equipment in our Starshot project. And we have rushed our astronauts into an intensive program for the final phase of their training. Now our Starshot ship is supposed to undergo six months of test flights. But we are going to forget about the testing and go after those Martian monkeys. Isn't that risky? Of course it is risky. But every one of our astronauts is begging for the chance to go after the Martians. Who wouldn't give everything to bring Santa back to our children? 
I like how they're going to send a rocket into space to chase chase them like they have control <laughs> over that. So, some things, as I mentioned, there was a remake of this film also, and in 1966, there was also a one-shot comic book that was released based off of this. Um, I'm sure it's very valuable. A 1966 comic book adaptation of this movie would just be skyrocketing. Looks like we made a clean getaway. <laughs> How's our captive? He's having the time of his life. He's such a funny little man. Oh, I Santa. Oh, Santa's so funny. Santa. Got him laughing Cracking like an earthquake. That's Santa Claus. I saw him last night at the club, and he killed it. Oh, he's a holly jolly old son of a bitch. What a bunch of holly jolly assholes. <laughs> That's what you're all becoming. Martian mellow. Soft, weak. You're soft. You're all Old weak and menace. soft. Must like my mustache. Christmas Eve. They well, just gave Santa like like a chamber pot. Right Wasn't that a chamber pot? Right. I don't know. That was a chamber well, pot. These guys are mar like the Martians. They don't have space toilets. They're flying around with chamber so what pots. What do you expect? They're Martians. They have like that shit in their suit. Oh, like well, maybe they don't. Suit. They, that's, but, don't but then how would they know what a chamber pot is? I don't know. What the hell's going on with this movie? Questions. You didn't think that was funny? No, I'm kidnapped by a bunch of Martians headed towards my doom. It's not funny. Gee, Santa's all out for. We told them where to find you. That's right, Billy. You're a big piece of shit. You ruined like a, Christmas, Billy. He's got like a 1980s mom haircut. Santa? Yeah. Santa's a 1980s mom. Or hey, everybody! 1980s grandma haircut. <laughs> That's your old friend, Droopy! Droppy. Droby. Droppo. 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 Oh, Oh, me, oh, my, oh, me. Oh, warm up to Santa Claus. Hey, everybody, I brought you a cheese plate. Carcucci. <laughs> He's coming in with a girl. <laughs> He's a hipster mom. Yeah, enjoy your pills, everybody. And remember, they kill the pain of death. Oh, come on, you're going to love these pills. Well, is it all right if I have your chocolate ice cream? Sure. Oh, I just love chocolate ice cream. Oh, oh the rush! Gee, Mars must be a terrible place to live. Some chocolate ice cream. Pills for dinner. <laughs> I suppose if a Martian has a headache, he doesn't take pills. He takes chocolate ice cream. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Came off. Look at oh, the radar is all it's fucked up, sir. It's not an asteroid, it's a spaceship. And it's well, it's because so you had kids playing closer. in that goddamn radar <laughs> balls all the time, so what do you expect? Hey, turn the radar shields on so they can't. Oh, it's all fucked up in here, sir. It's like a big toy box. can penetrate our radar shield? They have a secret device, and his name is Billy Foster. Billy Foster! Bum, bum, bum! Beware. I think they're giving those kids a lot more credit than they deserve. Do, have we? I told you, we've learned things about Billy's on Christmas. You don't fuck with Billy's on Christmas. They will either kill all the sorority girls, or, <laughs> or they're going to kill the old nun, they're going to go on a rampage, and save Santa Claus. Billy's are wild cards. Don't Fuck with a Billy on Christmas. Well, and how is Santa and the little Earthling? Oh, aren't you a smug bastard? Why, it must be tiresome cooped up in this little room. Say, how would you like to see the rest of the ship? You're not fooling me. You don't like us. Ooh, look you're at Billy. Mean. Billy's getting snotty. Oh, you are oh, mean. No, good comeback there, whatever What's your name is. Everyone feel good. Even me. I don't trust you. 
That's right, Billy. Billy trusts no one. Billy doesn't even trust Santa Claus. Billy trusts himself. He learned that a long time ago on the hard streets when he was living in Hong Kong. Don't fuck with Billy, guys. I don't know why I went with Hong Kong. I don't know, yeah. It just sounded cool. Because, like, why would Billy be in Hong Kong? Let's play song. <laughs> <laughs> you have 30 seconds to get out of this trap, sure Santa. That's right. Sure. This is where you come when you're ready to go out in space. Well, look at the big brain on Billy. Tell us what you know, Billy. When you come back, the door closes, and they pump air back into the room through there. When it reaches the pressure of the pressure machine, it's going to take a little dark for, like, a... Kids movie? Smart lad, now watch me uh, inject yeah. you into this outer space. <laughs> I am so evil. The warning bell sounds, and in 60 seconds, that door opens. Time to give a space and a chance to make a final checkup on their equipment. There's no way out in space. If that door were open now, it will pull all the air out of this room and us with it. You certainly know a great deal about space travel, son. That's correct, Billy. It will pull all the air out of the room, and you with it. That is what I was hoping. It's gonna be like that scene from Alien Resurrection. <laughs> Why did you bring up Alien Resurrection? I was watching a perfectly good movie, and you had to bring up that piece of crap. <laughs> like the ending scene where it gets like sucked out that little hole. Yeah. <laughs> or you know, I mean. Personally, I think my favorite somebody getting sucked through a hole scene was probably the end of Nightmare on Elm Street 1. Very end, which through the door. God, so goofy looking. But still, scared the hell out of me when I was a kid, but goofy as hell these days. Why Santa has magic powers that allows him to travel through tubes? Why didn't I think of that sooner? It's alive! It's alive! Kill them all. Or, I mean, kill them all, yeah. No! You dirty son know. of a bitch! Santa's just standing there like a <laughs> moron. Gee, Santa, this escape room idea was a really <laughs> shitty idea. We haven't got a chance. Where did you say this leads to, Billy? Up seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Who's in the airlock? No one. Now. What's going on, Bulldog? Chief, Sam and the children are missing. Where are they? Drifting around in space, along with the rest of the space jump. Punches, fight. Da, 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 da. It's like this is like, da, 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 like da, a, da. a really shitty Star Trek fight. Like whoosh. This is you know what this this movie apparently gave us shaky cam. I don't uh, think that wasn't. I'm gonna keep pounding your head with a helmet against this until you. What? Oh! And there's this jolly asshole. Wait, what the fuck? You're all right. I I thought you would. Well, I'm not killed that easily, Mr. Bond. And then came up here and accidentally threw the door switch. We knew we had to get out of there in a hurry, or that would be the end of us. And uh, accidentally, of course. So you crawled out through the air duct. The air duct. But the air duct is just a little, and, and you're so big. <laughs> oh, oh, my secret. I don't want to know. That bridge bombs knows. But how? Well, well, now you wouldn't want me to tell my secret, would you? <laughs> oh, oh, poor man. He's painted just like someone who's seen a ghost. <laughs> We're laughing! We are laughing! <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That's again, not so special effects. Is that Earth? Wait, what? That's, that's Mars. That can't be Mars. 
I mean, the Mars is what's known as the Red Planet. That was obviously like a flowered planet. Like the 60s version. Well, wait a minute. This is 1964. They're going to the Laugh-In Planet. Rigna, after we secured the ship and lowered the ladder, you and Hargo get Voldar out of the brig and take him to the council room. You'll stand trial immediately. Why are these so hard? We've landed. Hatch open. Hatch open. Water down. Power off. Ship secure. Down. Uh, shut down. the hell up! God damn it! Shut the okay. hell Just up! Stop. Oh wait. Uh, Merry Christmas, boy. Wait. You're. Dr oh no. He roofied me and left me here for damn. Whoa. Kima, come in quickly. Kima. Yes, Regner. Voldar has escaped. What? He's gone. That can only mean trouble. Put a constant guard on Santa and the Earth children. Voldar will be back. Children? Children? Are you here, children? I have adjusted your knobs. Was that some weird art piece? I don't know. Maybe that was. No, I have no fucking clue. She's back. Is Drapo coming back? Too? Oh god, the line yes. delivery. Is, is Drapo coming back too? Drapo's the only thing we care about, mother. <sighs> Those kids. Oh, Kima. Oh, Kina. Let us touch foreheads. Are you it was, alone? You know, no. the most alien thing we could think of. Good job, scriptwriters. <laughs> Look what I found. Here's some pets for you. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to our home. Oh, you will be delicious. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so, so plump. tender and mild. <laughs> Yummy. Come on, come tender and mild implies that there is a spicy baby out there. Apparently. <laughs> Lady Beaumont, I'm not accustomed to entering people's homes through the door. <laughs> I'm not accustomed to entering people's homes through a door. Like, what? what? Like, what? like normal shit is that? Yeah. Okay, How pedestrian. <laughs> Walking through a door. <laughs> Novel. We'll start with the youngsters. How are they, Beaumont? The same. Quiet, remote, and very unhappy. They're inside studying. Well, let old Santa say hello to them. And I'm sure these children would like to meet them. I'll tell them you're here. Why? All our kids do is lie around listening to their iPods and iPhones, watching them TV, looking at the looking at the Twitter and the TikToks. Oh, I don't like where this is headed. I'm scared of change. I missed you too. Children, I brought some visitors from Earth. Will you come in, please, children? Billy and Betty, this is Bomar and Gamma. Hi. There's nothing in it. What are you giving me? My hand to shake. Oh, uh, now you have the plague. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the plague. <laughs> this, sir, is how pandemics start. So is my sister. We have another Earth person that wants to see you. I'm still... And so at any point now, Santa is going to like pull out a machine gun and start shooting all the aliens in order to conquer them and be their king. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing again! Oh, laughing with the little green folk. What are you laughing at? What is, what, what is going on? Everyone's laughing. <laughs> well, they're, they're apparently having a good time. They're laughing. Omar and Gamma, too. They've never laughed before. 
there! Through there! Over there! Quickly! Quickly, everyone! You two town idiots! Like, trying to be a shitty cartoon character. He is a shitty cartoon character. I can't believe it. That's the first time in months they've gone to sleep without the sleep spray. Santa, tomorrow we'll set up a workshop for you. Tomorrow we'll build you a workshop, Santa. For your sure it'll serve you. toys. Good, good. Now, I'd like to get going and have the toy shop operating full blast so as I can return to Earth for Christmas. Yeah, you know, return to Earth. I've he's got, got a, I got a lot of work shit to, to do. do. Like, I, I appreciate it, but, you know, uh, I do have a job, guys. I mean, I know it's only one day a year, but it's a, it's a long day. Let me tell you, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Meanwhile, in the cave of sadness. Me, Olga, hiding in a dirty cave like a speckled Mars worm. Oh, Kima will get this all fine away. That's easy. Let's get rid of the little fat friend in the red suit. <coughs> oh, that's suicide. I will get you, Rainbow Bright. I will get you, heed my word, Rainbow Bright. But I have other plans. Someone's approaching the cave. Oh, it's me, Jim. All right, turn off the nuclear curtain. All right, Jim, enter. What to find out? The toy shop is operating full blast. No one suspects me, so I sneaked down and took a good long look. It's nothing like the one on Earth. No one is sawing or hammering. Kimar has built a mechanized assembly line for the old man. Toys are rolling off by the second. This planet will be flooded with toys. You know, pick up one little toy. Is this dude totally talking to us right? He is. He is. He this is a fourth wall. It's a fourth wall. This is why we pay attention. We don't pay attention. We, we get a fourth wall break. I was tempted to steal one. I'd like to fool around with the thing. Toys! The decay is setting in. It's even affecting you. Soon all of Martians will be blithering idiots. All the Martians will be blithering idiots. Aren't they already? It seems like it. This guy is like, I mean, you know what? Say what you will about the acting. This dude is giving this role his all. This guy was thinking, I'm going to win some awards with this shit. The gods will be in Kima's house, guarding Santa Claus. Now this is what he'll do. See? You take them and go. Making him do laundry? Welcome to Santa's sweatshop. It is a sweatshop. Making all the kids work? <laughs> Probably doing it for free. <laughs> Child labor laws on Mars suck. Look at all these letters from children on Mars who want free shit. Who knew people liked free shit? Two dolls. Two dolls. Yeah. Doll machine go. Uh, oh, God. Now... Do you understand what kind of bat are we talking about here? I would love it if just like it opens up and all these bats come flying out. Oh no, those kind. Okay, never mind. Uh, 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 uh. These stagehands really Definitely. suck. Santa Claus, the great toy maker. Pressing button. Yep, this is where you've ended up, Santa. This is what it all comes down to. Rock bottom. This is rock bottom, Santa. You need to get off that hot chocolate, lay off the peppermint so much. I mean, really, you got to have diabetes, bro. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you how to live, Santa, but I'm telling you right now, you could you know, lose 50 pounds and be good, man. Pretty nice, eh? Lady Moma made it for me. No, oh, they made him a new Santa suit and everything. Boy, these Martians are top-notch. This would never fit you. Why, you have to fatten up first. Uh, we no. need you to have diabetes too. Ha 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 They call this a doll. It's an amusing little earth toy. And mine is a flying saucer. Isn't it ironic? Oh, hello, Santa. How are you feeling today? Tired? Like oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it, Santa I'm not can't sleep with well. shit. You left my CPAP machine back at the North Pole. Santa can't catch a wink. The sleep apnea really gets to you when you got it going. Oh my god, I'm... 
Here, children, here's your milk. You can play for Wait, now there's my question. So you mean to tell me they milked some kind of Mars thing and then put it into pill form? These Martians are crazy, man. I would not really? quench my thirst. I don't think really? I would uh, eat that. No. That's... I mean, I like milk well enough, but, you know, milk pills aren't going to do a quench for me. <laughs> no love for the milk pills, is that it? No Just love for the milk pills. I'm sure it's like powdered milk. Just a moment. Anybody out there had some of that delicious government powdered milk? You know, I remember so drinking fine, it though. when I was little. I but, remember it. Yeah. Good night. You know, someone been but I like here. Here's a powdered milk pill. <laughs> there you go. I mean, they put record players on the wall. What do you expect? Good night. What could it be, Moma? They're behaving the way our children used to behave. Can't you tell, Kima? They're homesick. They miss their parents, their friends. Kima, you've got to send those children back. Impossible. Molten milk. Malted milk. Hey kids, you see, back in the 60s, there was this little thing called malted milk. You can still find it at the store, but you would put it into your milk, make it a little bit sweeter, and it tasted kind of like a milkshake. I say the word kinda because it didn't. Whipped cream? Whipped cream? Oh, I'm gonna put on some weight now. Oh, drip. Oh That's too gosh, much whipped all cream. Those pills. All those calories. That takes too long. Yeah, that takes too long. Oh, how else could I give myself body issues? No, oh, here we go. how they have a fake beard in Santa's... <laughs> yeah, Santa's new costume that they made him. They made him a beard. Okay, I'm starting to believe that these aren't helmets. I think that's their head. Red rum! Red rum! I think I'll go down to the workshop and make some more toys! Ho, ho, ho! Jingle bell, jingle bell. The dopey fucking Santa I've ever seen. Look at that freaking elf on the shelf right there. Ooh, the three, three things. Three things predicted. Elf on the shelf. Sabotage. Nah. We're playing the spooky music for the spooky guys. I shall destroy you, Sunday Claus, with your caution controls. Punctuation, people. He's so, like the Three Stooges here. Yeah, these guys, I mean, he seemed like the smartest guy in the group, but then when he left the group, he picked the biggest idiots. And becomes a Mo. Yeah, no shit. Ship, all the light. All the light. Ah, oh, this is gonna shake up. I'm just gonna use my wrench here, this. and, and that's a uh, sabotage. It's like a 90s hacker. I'm in! Shh! Go! It's actually kind of a good joke right there. That was that was well-timed, guys. I'll give you credit for that. You're almost dancing around. And this skipping motherfucker. What? I mean, there's no one. I mean, this was great, but this guy right here is the embodiment of dance like no one's watching you. All right, this guy is just happy because half his brain is missing. Ignorance is bliss. Look at my finger, look at my finger, look at my finger go. Like, oh, he looks I'm like the real up. Santa with all this shit out of his head. <laughs> Why, get him, it's Santa Claus. Take him to the cave. Don't make me use my air blaster on you. Bye, whammo. <laughs> my friend asked you a question. Answer him. It's quiet, Jim. Put on a nuclear curtain. A what? A nuclear curtain. A nuclear curtain. Uh huh. Tomorrow I wonder exactly what that does. <laughs> Quick, put up the nuclear curtain. You shan't stop me today, Mr. Bond. It's my second Bond joke. Kids, drop 
Come get your goddamn pills. These kids, they don't listen. Children, breakfast is ready. Good morning, dear. Kima, I can't find Droppo. His bed hasn't been slept in. What's he up to now? Good morning. Good morning, Lady oh, Momar. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I ate all of your cookies. The one you made for me is missing. I'm sure Santa has an eating disorder. Last night. That's two things that are missing. Your suit and... And that weird beard we made you. From real human hair. Don't ask her how she got it, but she got it. You'll find inside it. He's out someplace playing Santa Claus. I'll take care of him. Oh, no, no, no. Now let him have his fun. He's probably at the toy shop making toys. He loves it. <laughs> Children, will you please hurry? Breakfast is ready. Yes, yes. If you don't hurry, your breakfast will get cold. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a pill joke. Santa's that's just a full of it. Terrible <laughs> joke. It did not land well. Oh, Santa's Where? funny. He's hiding, Santa. Apparently, He's probably Mars like laying has... under the table and they can't see him again. Mars has doorknobs. Here we come, ready or not. <laughs> He's not here, Santa. That's funny. Oh, well, he'll turn up. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, well, he guess apparently isn't coming into work today. Quick, children, to work. We have a 12-hour shift to do. One teddy bear and one dog. Santa will be nice and not att attach the chains well, today. That's, that's kind of... what the fuck? I'm waiting to see a hand. Way to state the off? Oh, yeah! Thank you, Piazzadora. You freaking genius. One day for that. What? This isn't a bat! That's a tennis bat! Why? Well, first off, are, is Santa introducing the Martians to tennis and baseball? I'm just curious. And also, too, how would the Martian know what a tennis racket was? There is nothing labeled tennis racket on the toys that the machine makes. Press this button 15 times to, to get what I want. Quick, call the IT! This computer is broken! Uh, this never happened when we made toys by hand. Something very strange is happening here. Boomer, I think you'd better call your father. Father? Father, this is Boomer. Yes, Boomer? Father, we're in the toy shop. Droppo isn't here, and there's something wrong with the toy machine, too. I'll be right over. Oh, they beat Droppo. I have PTSD what? now. Wake up. I still think you're making a mistake. It's too dangerous walking right into the enemy camp. Kimaro's men wouldn't dare lay a finger on us. That's why we're keeping Santa Claus a hostage. Now, if we're not back in three hours, you know what to do. All right, Shim. Open the nuclear curtain. Just a word of warning. If you got any big ideas, forget them. If you walk through that... Yeah, room, forget room, about them. just integrated like that. Sabotage. What's that button do? Somebody switched all the wiring. Sabotage those dirty uh, sons of bitches. The computer's missing, and now this machine's been sabotaged. Put them all together, it spells Voldar. He was here, and he thought Droppo was me. He's got Droppo, and I'm going to find him. Oh, Droppo. Oh, Surprise, damn! Please. An air blaster! <laughs> Stop playing with toys. Put it away, Kima. We have a weapon that's much more potent than that. As you may know, we are holding Santa Claus a hostage. One false move, and your little ho, ho, ho man will be destroyed. <laughs> All right, what do you want, Boda? These are our terms. 
Was he on MASH? That dude is a big nose. Is that clear? We will release it does look like him. Yeah. Him is, he wearing a, is he wearing a dress? Back to that planet. Third, no more joy through toys nonsense on Mars. Well? Well, you win. Are you sure you have Santa Claus? You know we have him. You mean you had him? Have Santa Claus? You well, guess him. what, you dumb motherfuckers? What? what? I thought I had him. But we had the real Santa Claus. You mean there's more than we did? Santa Claus has powers that you don't know about. All right, arms up. Rigna, Hargo, Lomas, report. This is Rigna, Kimo. Hargo and Lomas are with me. Good. I've got Boldar and Stovo. I'll keep them here in the storeroom of the toy shop. Rigna, you come here and take them off my hands. I want Hargo and Lomas to look for a man named Shim. Tell them to search the caves along the transverse canal. Right, Kimo. All right, you two. In there. Two knuckleheads. Ooh. I'll do my impersonation of a ballerina. Okay, I'll hide in the closet. You're going to be here for a while. Sit down. Well, I guess I could just kind of get out of here, huh? Okay, I'll press this button. I mean, that's kind of stupid of them to just leave him right there with the controls. No, oh, he's, he's taking light the light bulbs. They're fucked now. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's switching the light bulbs around. Oh, he's smart. You know, I mean, we've really been underestimating this guy. How he's... many How many Santas does it take to, to plug in a light bulb? Zero. Just what one Martian. Ho, ho, ho! Can't you say anything else but ho, ho, ho? If you're thinking of leaving, Santa, let me remind you, once you hit that nuclear curtain, there won't even be a whisker left. He is a really bad guard. He just kind of threatened him to let him run off. Slippery son of a bitch. God, outsmarted by Santa again. Oh, the oh, light hot bulbs. bulbs! Hot bulbs! What are you going to do with it? You're going to stand trial before the council. I don't think you'll be causing any more trouble. Oh! Foreshadowing! Look at that! Dun, dun, dun. Ooh! Power kick! Oh! Ooh! Oh. He bested Captain Kirk that time. Well, what a bad cut! Meanwhile, over here, Santa's hugging a bunch of children. Stop right there, Santa! Uh -huh. We meet again, eh? So we meet again, Mr. Bond. But you won't escape me. You're through! Roldar, why don't you, uh, relax? You're going to relax permanently. Oh, no! Someone peed on him. Oh, no! Oh, children! Oh, my goodness. Tennis racket. Meet with the oh, tennis and a ro racket. army robot. Army robot. Army robot. Now we know what Santa's smoking. Dude, he's got some he's, bubbles going on here. He's got a... Oh, my God. This is crazy. Here's our army, sir! Da, da, da. Oh, these toys! I can't deal with it! Whoa! A tank with a missile on it! You are so screwed! He shot him with an arrow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's right! Kill him! There were Kill him, children! And a man on fire? <laughs> you gotta try that! <laughs> Kill him, children! Kill him with the toys! Where'd you get the hand grenade? This is a lot of violence. I don't know. <laughs> They're just beating the hell out of this They're guy. They're enjoying the shit out of him. Like, Look at that. Mur murder is fun! What is it? Oh! No! Oh, no! You're on your own in there, buddy! <laughs> Santa is loving the violence. He woke up this, this morning is... and chose violence. Santa... <laughs> oh, meanwhile! Wait a minute, I thought you are Santa Claus! Look out here! Me, you're in there! Oh, oh, yeah, you're right! I'm out here! What a weird oh. mix-up! Oh, you're so smart. I'm gonna throw you in there so you can see you killing my friend! Uh oh. No, you won't give me that. Oh, man, air. he was easily coerced out of that gun. Yeah. Get in oh, there. Get in there to the beating chamber. 
All right, kids, here's another one for you. Kill him, kill him good, kill him, kill him. Ah! Take them away. They've had a rough day. Ho, 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 everybody! And here comes this asshole. Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> you don't need me here, Kima. You've got a wonderful Santa Claus of your own. <laughs> oh, they've got their own Santa Claus. It was him all along. Billy. Oh, okay. I thought it was over. I thought that was it. But this is the Man, extended. They are like dragging this out. <laughs> this is the extended cut special edition version. Goodbye. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Gee, we had fun. We're going to miss you. Do you think we'll ever meet again? I'm sure you will, children. Thank you, Santa, for bringing happiness to the children of Mars. And the Christmas spirit to all of us. Sure. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you and yours the very best of everything. Whoa! War on Christmas! Santa Claus did not say Merry Christmas. War on Christmas! in time for Christmas Eve. Yay! Shall we get going? Yay! Goodbye, dear friends. Whoa, way! We're gonna fly back home from Mars! How is it? Wait a minute. He... Oh, oh, good. We got the song on the way out. Hey, get out of here, you fat bastard. You were eating all of our food pills. How are they getting home? Like, who's taking them? Oh, well, there's our answer. Four special like, effects. Who's driving it? Like, that's Santa Claus. Santa Claus can do whatever he wants. We've established that. Right. There are no rules here. All right? Christmas. That's the rule, Christmas. Beans is just not into this. Merry, oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas! There's another of the special effects right there. That's nice. Santa Claus is always watching you. Okay. Shitty 70s overlay picture. The spice rolls is all. The moon. This just keeps kind of going. Why does this... It's like the introduction to the honeymooners. Jackie Gleason is going to pop up in the moon. Any moment now. Oh! I was wrong. No. There it is. The end. That's wow. it. We are done here. That is all. That's all she wrote. It's still going. Come on. Come on. I'm really tired of this song. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, Regina. Hmm. All right. So, that Carol was Vaughan. it. That guy has two first names. Oh, wow. All right. Santa's helpers. Tony Ross. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hang up that mistletoe. Soon you'll hear ho, ho, ho. On Christmas Day, you'll wake up and you'll say hooray for Santa Claus. Santa Claus. S-A-N-T-A. C-L. Yeah. Hooray for Santa Claus. I can't. I'm trying to keep up. You spell it. They even tell you this is how you spell it. Hooray for Santa Claus. So is it Santa Claus or Santa Claus? This song is... I don't know. I'm not going to All right. Elaborate. There we go, folks. There it is. That is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Although he really didn't conquer the Martians. He, 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 he made an agreement. Yeah, he kind of subdued them in his jolliness. Right. He created their own Santa. He didn't conquer them. He more or less franchised. So this film should be called Santa Claus Franchises to the Martians. Yeah, kind yeah. of, because he left yeah. a, he left his own version of Santa right. out there. Right, right. He's like, I'm going to take all the profits, and you do all the work. There you go. All right, capitalism. It was the 60s. Okay, guys, there you go. That's it. That's all she wrote. That is Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. 
Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for being subscribers. Thanks for checking out the Film Geek. It has been a freaking amazing year. I've added so many new subscribers. The, the channel is growing at a great pace. And, and that's all because of all of you fine people who check out my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you do. Merry Christmas, and as I always like to say, folks, keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.